Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. So today I wanted to focus on Samsung's Watch On software, which you can see right here. Uh, they're also advertising literally their hub as well as their apps, and this is all part of being a content consumption tablet. But Watch On, on the other hand, it is part of the content consumption, but it's more about uh, a value-added feature, and that's because this leverages the infrared blaster that's up here at the top of the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. And that gives you the ability to turn the tablet into a universal remote, as well as program guide for your respective cable provider. So you can see, uh, after you've actually agreed to use the service, it'll then tell you to, you can basically set up the service, enter in your zip code, quick walkthrough for those of you curious as to how this works. So let's say I enter in zip code for Manhattan. It'll then bring up a list of various providers. We'll go with Time Warner Cable Manhattan Digital. And of course setup is complete. They now can at least pull our guide and populate all the local content since they know exactly who to pull it from. Now they want to actually set up your television. So here you'll then select your brand, in my case Panasonic, and it'll then walk you through the steps of mating um, the actual tablet's IR blaster with the television in order to make sure that you can actually turn it on and off. I'm not going to you know, be going through these steps right now, but that's the general idea here. Now if I exit out of that, we'll then uh, get a pretty good idea of what watch on actually looks like. I'm going to skip the sign in process and you can see already it's populating what's on right now scrolling the wrong way of course um, as well as featured uh, in terms of uh, per, um, content you'd have to purchase that's not actually airing that's pay-per-view of course because Pacific Rim has not hit cable that quickly um, and basically you can just go through all the different content uh, whether you want to look at TV shows, and then they filter it by what's new, uh, most popular, genres. So really giving you a completely different visual uh, experience for accessing your traditional cable uh, experience at home. And it's a nice feature. This is something that Sony does as well. Samsung and Sony are pretty much the only manufacturers to really uh, be pushing the infrared uh, feature and I think more should be doing it. I understand why Sony's doing it since uh, they own so much content. It makes perfect sense. Samsung just doing it because after all they manufacture a ton of televisions and this is a great uh, companion device for a TV which you can see right here. And then you've got all different categories so you can really just look for anything you could possibly want to watch uh, which is great. You also have a search feature. Let's say I wanted to catch an episode of Dexter It'll then pull up TV shows, uh, web results, YouTube results, and then I can just go ahead and touch that, and it'll give a description of the episode, give me the full cast, related content, uh, ep episodic information. I mean, just really comprehensive. This is someone uh, for someone who really enjoys watching TV and just you know taking it to the next level. Watch on does deliver that. Uh, so you've got the search feature there. Uh, then this feature is the direct TV connection because the idea here is to be able to say okay I want to watch it now touch this button and then it's on your television now I don't have that synced up here I'm not in front of a TV uh, but that is how the watch on software works and then finally uh, you know the actual remote control now remote control hasn't been set up so that's another thing I would have to do here and that's basically how watch on works uh, fairly simple fairly straightforward uh, it does exactly what it suggests and it does it well. It has been uh, more polished. It's a little bit more mature. I brought up multi-view accidentally there. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. It, it just works. It's a good visual cue for finding what you want to watch. It's sort of Google TV built into your tablet that will then communicate with your Wi-Fi enabled television. Obviously, Samsung would prefer their own in order to give you instant access uh, to the content you really want to watch. Yet another example of how this is a content-centric device, not just a productivity machine. It really is 
uh, a jack of all trades. So really like this uh, feature, this application. Wanted to share it with all of you uh, because I thought it was a key one. In terms of settings, not a whole lot to show. They have room settings um, so that you can configure for multiple rooms, obviously. And that's pretty much it. But I like the watch on service. I think it's a great added bonus. Um, unlike necessarily the Samsung Hub or apps, even though they do give you some free applications, always nice. But just wanted to share that with all of you, and you can now see it's populating what's actually on TV because I have integrated it, and uh, you can just search through that. And uh, it will customize to uh, your viewing habits as well. You can set all that up, what you want to see, so that you don't just get random uh, content forced into your feed there. But overall, watch on a good addition, the infrared remote control, in my opinion, one of the best added value um, bonuses that any manufacturer can integrate into tablets. It makes perfect sense. Glad to see it here on the Note 10 2014. Just another great feature in what amounts to the best tablet on the market presently. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.